Should people go ahead and take a stand for Facebook? All right, um, I'm going to say no. And just to get to the point real fast, uh, the reason why I say that you know you sh- people should not take a stand for Facebook is because let me ask you, you know, we, we all have friends in our life that have gone ahead and stolen from us once, or you know, well, I mean, fortunately we do. You know, I mean, especially growing up, people learn morals, and you know, they may go ahead, your friend may go ahead and steal your little toy from you or something like that. But uh, they learn later on in life, and you never have to deal with them stealing from you ever again. Yeah, you, you, you just forget about that right there. Or you may have the friend that uh, goes ahead and um, tells some. You tell them not to say something to someone, and they go ahead and go ahead and do that. Uh, and you're like, man, I trusted you, you know. And I told you not to tell someone, and you went ahead and, and told that person that person. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take that on a whole new level here, and uh, um, look, compare that to Facebook and other social media companies out there. Now I'm not slandering these companies when I uh, when I when I'm talking about this. I'm just let's just you know just talk about this scenario here. Okay, so if we have hundreds of billions of dollars that are stolen from the masses, which have actually let's go ahead and say a trillion dollars has been stolen from the masses, and there's a whole bunch of accomplices involved to steal a trillions of dollar a trillion dollar plus dollars from it doesn't matter how many people but let's this is how severe it is it's happened across the entire world it's happened to one third of the people online one third of the world's population who happens to be involved in social media so that's a big crime against humanity if you ask me right there and man those people should be imprisoned right there or or have to go ahead and and pay back the people because they stole from the people here and stuff so you know i i mean uh you know face facebook i mean Again, I'm not talking trash. It's just in the news here. But, our, okay, they provide a free service. That's fine. So that's just like, um, I, you know, so just we, they just let us in the door, okay, of, their, of our, their friendship with us, our relationship, all right? But then, but then they go ahead and they went ahead and, you know, sold our information off basically uh, to all these consumers to go ahead and uh, instead of asking uh, for us to participate in some kind of marketing uh, machine, they went ahead and did that to us and uh, uh, made a crap load of money off that. It, it, was, it, was a, it was a thievery that took place without, it was so smooth. It, it was the ninja in the night just came through there and just stole all this money because obviously there's money there because we're talking at growing at whatever it is, a quarter billion dollars a day. And this is still happen today. It'll happen tomorrow until Sue comes in to save the day, TSU, all right, which is a new business model that is going to go ahead and make that all right. And that will never happen again. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. So not only have we been stolen from ninja style, we have actually been lied to also. We, okay, and what I mean by that is, let me give you an experiment is, you know, we're talking about emotional experiments here. Uh, let me give you an example. We're talking emotional experiments here. So if, if your friend, let's refer to friendship again as your friend, okay, and they went ahead and, and did something and just mess with your emotions. I, I like the saying, messing with my emotions. One second, please. You know, messing mess with my emotions is like messing with my money. You just don't do that. And when you mess with my emotions, you're messing with my money because how successful we are in life is built on our emotional frequency, okay? When we radiate happiness, we bring more greatness into our life, okay? That makes sense. We have this vibrancy thing here. So just bear with me here as I explain this right now. If we've been through what they did at Facebook, they conducted this, this, uh, this social media experiment and went ahead and put a whole bunch of negative stuff on your, on your, on your newsfeed without asking you so you couldn't be prepared. So since you're not prepared, you don't have that shield up right there, uh, this emotional block shield you know, to protect you as being a human. Okay, and so they went ahead and took your emotional frequency whoa, down real fast using their little fear tactics and stuff just by not letting the goodness of positive stuff onto your newsfeed. Is that simple? Isn't that just amazing how complex we are as humans where that's actually real shit? <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, you know, uh, and I, th- I think a lot of people just don't give credit for how how real and human we really are. Okay, I am. I'm real, you're real, but sometimes people just don't give themselves the credit that they deserve to be as humans, 
Okay, so we're emotional beings. You know, you know, if we don't give love in our life, we can die. A baby can die. So you subject ourselves to some negative news feed, man, you, you may as well just go on ahead and just, uh, I don't know, put your mouth around the, the, the car ahead of you, use exhaust, and just inhaled it. Just use an example since I'm driving right now, but my point is it's not good. So, <clears throat> you know, all right, so we have been lied to, we've been manipulated, all this stuff. So if you're dealing with <clears throat> in a relationship where someone has done these these two th- these few things to you, and also let's use the example of, them of you actually giving this information to government organizations that they can later use against us, um, and in in our privacy is really important as humans. It's not that any of us are they are doing anything wrong, but it's kind of scary how this stuff has been taken and twisted knowledge and can be used against people okay so th- again thank God for Sue for coming along and changing all that right there but you, you guys if we've been lied to cheated to when you tell your friend enough is enough and you say get the heck out of my life and you just never look back at him you be friend you just get rid of them as a friend forever and because we only have room so much in our life uh, so much room in our life for for great people um, for so many people in our life and we may as well go ahead and make that, um, you, you know, focus on filling that little, that amount of uh, space that we do have with as many positive people and positive experiences and positive things that can better our lives than allowing some nonsense into our life. So I'm saying goodbye Facebook and hello Sue. And I am, uh, think all you guys should reevaluate your relationship with this technology of social media and take a stand and join the masses and you can do so you can do so by helping spread the word about what's really taking place and help people understand that they have they they have been uh, uh, accepting a relationship for way too long that has robbed cheated steal lied everything to them from one guy out, you know, from these CEOs, these companies that just honestly, they, they have uh, stolen from us. So you guys, uh, to go ahead and uh, learn more about Sue and, you know, add me as a friend and be part of this movement together, go to my website, www.byfacebook.com. That's B-Y-E, Facebook.com. Ryan Conley, over, out. I wish you all a great day.